Mayor John Tory started his briefing today by speaking about anti-black racism and a report that is going to be going to the Toronto Police Services Board this Friday. He is going to be endorsing it. In it, there are a number of recommendations, including increased community consultation in those racialized communities. We have responded well and together to a sudden pandemic called COVID-19. Now, it is time to put the same determination, the same creativity and commitment to work going after a centuries old pandemic called racism. Now more on the city's fight against COVID-19. The TTC board meeting virtually today voted unanimously to make masks mandatory when riding the rocket. Starting July 2nd, everyone boarding a bus, streetcar or subway will have to wear a non-medical mask or face covering except for children under two and people with medical conditions that may prevent them from wearing one. TTC CEO Rick Leary telling the board the agency is adding 100 so-called COVID ambassadors to assist riders at stops and encourage transit users to follow the bylaw. Customers who will be returning to the TTC can be assured that the TTC is safe. The TTC plans to distribute 1 million non-reusable masks to customers on a one-time basis with priority given to marginalized neighborhoods. And a follow-up to the story we brought you yesterday about Cafe T.O. The city has set up the program to allow patios to expand onto curb lanes when restaurants reopen. City News has learned that discussions between city staff and BIA representatives have revealed some difficulties in the process and it may not be as streamlined as promised. When I asked Mayor John Tory about it today, he doubled down and said this plan will make things easier. It's going to be easy and I will do whatever I can to make sure that it is easy because the hard stuff has already been experienced by the people that are the bar and restaurant owners that have gone through three or four months of no revenue, no business, uh, and are struggling to stay alive. I'm going to make sure that what we do is what we said we were going to do, which was to make this a seamless process. It doesn't mean absolutely every application can be accepted, but it sure means if there's a benefit of the doubt to be extended, it is extended in favour of no red tape and in favour of the bar or restaurant that wants to do something. All right, here are your latest Toronto COVID-19 numbers. The city is reporting 86 new infections today. The rolling seven-day average now at 91. Just under 11,400 people have now recovered from the virus, an increase of 202 from yesterday. Health officials also reporting six more deaths. In total, the coronavirus has killed nearly 1,000 people in Toronto. The success of the active TO program was also a topic of conversation for Mayor John Tory today. He actually took some time to offer some numbers for how successful some of the road closures have been. Thousands of people using Lakeshore Boulevard and Bayview Avenue to use their bikes and to get out for a walk. He also mentioned that the expansion of the bike network the bike network will continue this weekend with bike lanes being installed on University Avenue from Adelaide all the way up to Bloor.